Welcome back to another Strain Review. I'm your host, Tyler Green, and this is filmed exclusively for the I Smoke channel. Today, I have another strain for your enjoyment. Every Wednesday, I release a cannabis strain review. I believe this is episode 51, which is crazy to think about. Every week, I sample cannabis, and I basically give you guys an overview of my thoughts on the background, appearance, smell, taste, and effects of each strain that I sample. This week, I have a cross of a Wardarican female and a coochie male. It is bred by Devil's Harvest Seeds and it is a strain called OG Rican. I'm going to talk to you about the OG Rican in this week's I Smoke Cannabis Strain Review. OG Rican. Let's talk about the background of this strain. Just before I do, I've got an important announcement to make. You now have the opportunity to vote on strain reviews. So moving forward, what I'm going to do each week, our patrons will have the opportunity to vote for the strain review the following week. So I'm going to give you a choice of two. It's going to be what I'm thinking of reviewing and then the final decision will be up to my patrons. So if you want to vote on that and be in control of the strain reviews that are coming out of the channel, then make sure you click this link, patreon.com forward slash iSmoke to find out more. Let's talk about the background of the OG Recon. This is a uh, hybrid strain. It is a 60-40 split, so 60% indica, 40% sativa. Apparently it's a medium difficulty growth so if you are an experienced cannabis grower you should have no problems with this one it does not come in feminized seed form as far as i'm aware so you have to buy in non-feminized seeds and then spot the males if that is what you want to do devil's harvest mentioned that it is a very fuely smelling so it's got a fuel like aroma and the power of it i think it's 65 to 75 days is the flowering time. As it grows, it displays more of its sativa type property, so the plant will get taller, and uh, yeah, really, really interesting stuff. Just wanna big up London Dank Father, because this is an excellent example of this strain. I've tried it before, and I've been looking forward to reviewing it. That covers the background of the OG Recon. Now let's talk about the appearance of this cannabis strain. So let's look at this then in a bit of detail and talk to you about just how it is looking. So this phenotype has been grown in the UK. It looks like it has been grown with love and care. It's reasonably dense. It's got a little bit of give to it. It's been dried really, really nicely. It has been curing for a good long while, which we'll cover more when we talk about the smell. The coloration is a lovely light green. It does remind me of the look of the OG Kush a little bit. It's similar looking to their Rolex OG, and this has light green coloration, quite uniform in color that I can see at the moment. The pistils are really thin and small. They are a golden orange color, and you can see patches of dark green, but the leaves have been completely trimmed off of this. Overall, in terms of the appearance of it, it's looking good. I'm trying to look and see whether I can see trichomes. Yeah, so the trichomes are nice and cloudy, and they are covering the whole thing when it catches the light. Uh, not glistening, so not sparkling trichomes, but lovely and cloudy. And the actual bud quality itself, it just looks nice. It just looks like a nice bit of bud. It does look like it's been grown in the UK. Yeah, I'm impressed with the look of it, guys. Not the biggest good sample bud. I've got like little bitty bits here, but I should still be able to get a good idea of the rest for the review. That covers the look. Let's talk about the smell of the OG Recon. Fuel, gassy, 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 OG. Those are the three things that I'm getting from this sample. Apparently, I should be getting sort of citrus notes from the um, Water Rican mother of this strain. And I think I do smell it ever so slightly. It's just like a like under smell that just sort of comes along. It's very subtle, uh, but the main smell is that gassiness, that smelling like OG 
Kush on steroids or like very similar to Holy Grail Kush, perhaps a little bit stronger than the gassy smell of the Holy Grail Kush, which is my favorite strain at the moment. I'm gonna break some open. Now the OG of that just comes out and smacks me in the face. That is the main thing that I can smell, is that fuel scent, that gassy, diesel aroma. And as I've broken it, there's plenty of trichomes. Gosh, it is a very resinous strain. I'm getting this gassy scent that um, is just reminding me of, of, of the OG strains, you know, like all Holy Grail Kush. It smells lovely. It smells really good. It smells a bit like Headbanger. That's what it's reminding me of as well. I have not had a strain this sort of gassy and OG for a while. Mmm, yeah, it's one of my one of my more enjoyable cannabis aromas. And this has it in full force. So I'm gonna put some into the grinder, grind it up, get a massive surface area, and we're gonna smell it some more. Get a nice size amount there. Oh, it went up my nose. Did you see that? <sighs> oh. Sniff too hard. That's what happens when I like the smell. I'm not supposed to snort it either. The OG smell is, is the main thing. Um, is it like a pungency? Not really. It doesn't smell skunky. It just, I'm getting these uh, these citrusy citrusy undertones with fuel gas as the main smell. In terms of how much it smells, it is in the name, it absolutely stinks. This sample actually smelt a little bit more when I got it, probably left it a little bit too long before doing the review, but I can still smell it and it still smells fantastic. I just remember how strong it smelt when I first smelt it. Mm. That covers the smell, but how does it taste? If you are smoking along, vaping along, dabbing along, get yourselves ready, get your joints rolled, bongs ready, dab rigs heated up. Join me for this one and I will see you on the other side, guys. Cheers. <coughs> wow, so, oh, getting a fair bit of intensity <coughs> from that one, but on the exhale, the OG, the gassy flavour has come through that absolutely beautifully. I didn't taste it so much on the inhale, it was only when I breathed out that I started to taste the gassiness and it's still in my mouth now, that flavour. The way I would describe it is that OG power, similar flavour profile to the Holy Grail Kush and something that I think is fantastically delicious. Probably more intense than I would have liked, but made up for it with the flavour. So in terms of taste, I would give this high marks, guys. It is one which, um, yeah, has impressed me in terms of the flavour, actually. So that covers the taste. Let's talk about the effects of the OG Recon. I am one bong deep into today 
the way I like to do these strain reviews is to start sober and then to consume and see how it affects me. A lot of times I smoke a few different strains in a day and it becomes a little bit muddled, a little bit difficult to pick out certain effects once you're already quite stoned. With that in mind, I was sober before I did this review. How do I feel now? I am feeling the hybrid effects kicking in. I'm feeling a bit more energetic. I've got a little bit of sort of energy, but I've got the nice wish-washy feeling of the relaxation in my body. So it's a nice high and it's making me feel, um, yeah, feel happy. Not really so much dry mouth, but that could kick in. It's not really been long enough to judge that yet. As I talk about it, as usual, it makes me think about it and then I want to drink. So the OG Recon is a powerful hybrid strain delivering anywhere between 20 and 23% THC on average. I can feel that. So as, I'm, as I've done that one bong, I'm now getting higher and higher as I sort of climb this lovely lovely feeling guys. I'm getting the cerebral uh, effects quite strongly as well as the indica effects. It's interesting that it's 60-40 on the indica side. I maybe would have said that it's 50-50 or feels more sativa. -y. I guess that would differ from phenotype to phenotype as well. Potentially. Whoa. But yeah. I'm feeling good. It is the strain review for I Smoke this week and the OG Recon has got me feeling nice. Shall we do another bong? Just a little taster. Right, I'm gonna hit another bong of the OG Recon. If you are joining me for this one, now if you need to. See you on the other side guys. Cheers. a lot less intense. I didn't do as big a bong. <coughs> wow, I'm getting that fuel taste in my mouth now. Really, really gassy. And uh, yeah, it's a good strain, guys. In conclusion... The OG Recon was a great strain to try. Definitely really, really strong. The effects are feeling great. The appearance of it was nice, although I would have liked to see a nice big nug. What I actually got was some little bits. But the appearance of it, like the cloudiness, the uh, the trim job, the trichome coverage in general was nice. Like you could see that it was a good looking bit of UK grown bud. The smell was brilliant. Like when I first got it, it was fantastic. Um, smelled a little bit less now, but it was still a great gassy OG scent that really packs a punch. Reminds me a lot of my favourite strain, the Holy Grail, so that's probably a reason I love it so much. The taste was really nice through the bong, although perhaps a little bit intense. It might have even been because I did a bigger bong than usual and the intensity could just be the quantity, you know, like I'm now feeling really high. It's obviously kicked in in full force and more so than I was expecting. The flavour was lovely, gassy, OG, reminded me again of the Holy Grail Kush and the effects were fantastic. As you can see, look at me feeling all right, guys. What do you think of the OG Recon? Have you tried this one or would you like to try it? Let me know in the comments. That's it for this week's strain review, guys. As always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button and help the channel grow. I'll be back with another one very soon. As always, thanks for watching and keep talking. Stepping on here roller coaster going down, but I never felt this high. Biggest ride of the century.